There's a rift in the SETI community, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Now, I've been engaged in various aspects of this, both as an astronomer and a science fiction author, all my adult life. But now some zealots in the community want to be messages to poke at the experiment and try to attract attention from the advanced life forms out there. When Sagan, Drake, Tartar, Morrison, and the founders of the SETI movement always said that we should leave the heavy lifting of contact to those who've been around a while, the presumably advanced and altruistic alien civilizations. Now, those of us who have resigned from various SETI committees uh, in protest over this METI uh, movement, uh, we're not scared of Cardassian invading fleets and, and paranoid about uh, Crytonian disasters. We want to adhere to the general scientific process. When you're going to alter one of the Earth's fundamental characteristics, how about an environmental impact statement? How about getting the Earth's greatest sages to discuss and calculate what the relative risks might be? Now, the answer to this by a small community of fellows who want to do this poking at the experiment is a set of assertions and, of course, truisms. Of course, aliens already know about us because uh, some movies have said that um, I Love Lucy is going to be seen by aliens. In fact, this has been disproved. Aliens would have to dedicate huge Connecticut-sized uh, antennae staring at the Earth incessantly in order to find I Love Lucy. But this is called the barn door excuse. The horses have already left, so it's too late to close the barn door. Now this is arguable, it's not an of course. Of course interstellar distances are too vast for any harm to come to us. This is easily disprovable, but it's asserted as an of course, so that people can be dismissed and there's no need for pre-discussion. Of course it's nonsense to worry about possible dangers of which there's no example. That's a clever one except that there are all sorts of potential threats that we worry about and take care of through things like the Planetary Protection Office of NASA. Of course, pre-discussion of this issue will result in Orwellian censorship forever. Of course, we should send the whole internet into space and let aliens sort it out. There is no of course. But the absolute reductio thing about this is, why not have a cool discussion? Why not age the world's greatest sages on this fantastic topic and engage the world's population too? It'd make a great TV series. All the aspects that make us human would come up in discussion. It would be fabulous. Why avoid the pre-discussion about all the parameters and all the of course assertions about whether or not we should be beaming messages into space. The fundamental thing is the lesson from all Michael Crichton movies, and that is, trust us, we know what we're doing. Whenever you see some very bright guys saying that phrase, cover your wallet and call other people over to criticize their assumptions. If that ever happened in the Michael Crichton movie, the Tyrannosaurus would never get out. <laughs>